All right, everyone, it's welcome back to time. another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode, we learnt two new very powerful spells, Levioso and um, Accio. In this episode, we're going to go see Mrs. Weasley, or Professor Weasley, I should say, the headmistress, uh, following this waypoint. Oh, hello, Kitty. Always time to give a pet kitty a pet. <laughs> um. Now, indeed. All right. Let's begin. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Hasn't Professor Fig said anything? No, Professor. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a Streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan mentioned that. What? More work? I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now! Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. What more can you tell me about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. What's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. So there really is an Ollivanders here. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Nice, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Uh, Natty or Sebastian. I think Natty was the girl and Sebastian was the guy I was dueling. I'll go with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. 
The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Hell yeah. All right, we met with Professor Weasley. I'm just gonna do a quick Revelio and see if there's any- Revelio. Hello, there's a little more uh, lock. There's also a chest. Speak to Professor Ron to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests, blah, 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 blah. Well, if you complete your first with a mending charm repair, or required to complete other quests. Interesting. <laughs> I'll just raid your little stash there. Oh, there was something here. Field guide. Partial transfiguration. This partially transfigured teacup, likely the to be reverse error of a second year, serves as a cautionary tale for those students who don't take who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. So, uh, that's a reference to Ron Weasley, I believe, from the film. He might have done it in the book as well. I have no idea. Revelio. Yeah. No. Nope. I'll periodically be doing these Revelios and uh, presenting cool. I'll tell you about it. Handy resource indeed. Your field yes, guide. Yes, yes. I'm most pleased to be included. This tree special. I guess we just go see Professor. Whee! Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. What's the purpose of these tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. All right, I'll complete the tasks. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. All right, tell me where to go, book. This is the right area. Page, isn't it? I wonder where. Get over here! Get over here! Yeah! A flying page <laughs> must be around here somewhere. I knew there was a page here. Brilliant. All right. Ah! I don't know why I'm jumping through these doors. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Oh, they weren't, Professor. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, right, let's do your this. wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh no, it's catching me up. Get away, get away! Boom! Get away, get away! Boom! Use the nitrous. Boom! And I made it. Sweet. The mending charm repair can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Continue. That's it! Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Alright. Well, we did it. Challenge has been done. Oh, uh, he said to repair something. Is it this? How do we do Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Do I get anything for it, though? Seem like it. All right, but um, at least I'll highlight it for me in white. So we got our Repero spell. Fantastic. Let's speed on over to... Oh, what is this? Revelio. Chest. I want it. Oh, but is it behind that locked door? Hi, <laughs> ah, it is, isn't it? 
Of course, I might understand what this puzzle is talking about. The question mark is supposed to fill in the blank. Um, so 11 and whatever that symbol is. I don't know, maybe it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 symbols there. 11, 21, and then we got that symbol, that symbol, 17, and something else. I mean, I don't know. I'm genuinely stumped. I have no idea what the relation is. This set of stained glass windows features Merlin, the four Hogwarts founders and various other witches and wizards of the ages. Merlin's beard. Open the door. Part of another Lohamora lock. Oh, another one of these. Lumos. Where is that? Revelio. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, um, I don't know what I've done there. I've activated some menu that I'm not aware of. Oh, okay, this is my list of all the spells that I know. But like Lumos, Repero, Accio, and Levioso. Am I going crazy? I can hear something. In particular, Urn is rumoured to have once borne the inscription Pioneer in Dragon Taming. Should not have started with the Hungarian Horn Tail. Alright, that's 3 out of 15. This castle. Revelio. Is <laughs> frog Choir. Here perch the slimy yet symphonic frogs that comprise the Hogwarts Frog Choir. These magical amphibians can sing in six-part harmony and hold a pitch better than most humans. Of course they should. This. Ah. Best here. Hello, hello, hello. Open up. Lumos. Gotta be some spell to open up these. There's a normal place to right? Something. Got a wagon world potion. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. See you. Scorch Marks. Allegedly the location of the first known instance of an arguably successful casting of, Bomb of Bombarda. They are known, cast are unidentifiable. Well, here's another one. There you go. I don't know if that was Bombarda, but it was a spell. Revelio. Another one. Horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind Hogsmeade Inn, with a wedge of gong Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Interesting. Oh, I made it. Well, um, fancy meeting you. Before that, you let's can't get this. imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pants. Yes, decorous vest, school uniform. You know what? I've got some clothes that I actually want to equip. Uh, no, not that. Here. Okay, side quests are now available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I should be doing a lot more side quests. Um. Inventory. We have anything left? No. Gear. I do want to change this up. So robes. Do I have anything new? No. Good. Um. Outfit. This is like destiny. What is that? It. The difference. It's just a lighter one. It upgrades. Oh, there actually is. Seven more difference. Compare it. Yeah. Interesting. It is like destiny. Alright, I'll wear these black gloves. Cool. Face wear. Anything. Spectacles. I want to wear the spectacles. Not really.
really. It's not, it's not giving me anything, so... Leave that. Sell it later. Headwear. Oh, there's some hats. Dark flat cap. Or... <laughs> it upgrades our defense, though. Patchwork swords for a hat. You know what? Let's let's go for it. Let's wear it. Why not? Neckwear. These carbs. Base scarf. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. There we go. Now we look like a proper wizard. <laughs> look how ridiculous he looks. Rebellion. Where the hell did you come from? Three Sister Bells. The Three Sister Bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyllshire. It is rumoured that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands when they are rung in the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Very nice. Okay, well, uh, I suppose we'll do the main quest and then we'll come back and do some side quests. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Hot damn, this place is big. Revelio! Don't so easily ask me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested this goodie. I abandoned Sebastian. No, Sebastian. Come back. I know there's something here. Have you ever visited any of the Ah, I want goodies. Give them to me. Rebellion. I'll find Speaking them. Speaking of Weasley, do. she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention ah. record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm looking for goodies. I'm not interested in your friendship, Sebastian. Give me, give me goodies. Uh, uh, oh god, this is taking ages. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me. Wait, 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 wait. I want that. Well, I'm not I your service. Aye. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me. Rebellion! Akia! Professor Weasley came to retrieve me. And I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Okay, so how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section. And I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. All right. Did it. Got the lacewing fly. Oh, what that? Look at that epic vault. Very acrobatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Relax. Ah, right, diggity damn. Huh. 
It's like Skyrim. Except, you know, worse. Oh, I collected something. Deeping total caps. I guess there are maybe a few ingredients we can brew together. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Flowers, maybe? Likely already named them, too. Prant soup and sugar fetch. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. Hang on, was that page? They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Sound is on point in this game. Give it that much. I mean, I'm wearing headphones, granted, but directionally, sound is helping. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. Yeah, what I are you going to do? I can't go around telling oh, you all man. my secrets now, can I? That's not even a spell in the You still teleport. haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Well, you'll never know. Uh. We. I've always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. That's what they're called, Thestrals. As opposed to Kestrals. For a type of bird. But a cat. He's petting. Vashem are waiting. The calico cat must be petted. Okay, now we carry on. Is that flu? Oh, it's just a fountain. Stupid pillar. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Demi guys, huh? I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. What is that? Did you see that? Was someone flying? Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Hogsmeade, we're here. Revelio. Honestly, one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just Hear something it. about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Really close. Oh, I think I saw it. Uh. Gotcha. This precarious and stacked set of cauldrons outside 
hurled when's advertises or shops wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while well, admittedly eye catching, is ill advised um, for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effects. I knew no one was going to stop me from getting my goodies. Well, there's got to be flu powder to get here. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcrafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade Village is brimmed with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guides map. Right, let's open the map. Oh, hello, hello, what's all this? Hogsmeade map shows the shops and the points of interest. You can track any of these by highlighting an icon and pressing X. Press circle to exit Hogsmeade map. Okay, what's this? Vlad Rags Wizard Wear. Clothing shop for both elegant and eccentric. It has two additional locations in London and Paris. Okay, we're heading there first. I don't care. I don't care what anything else is. I'm outfitting my character. Do this. Rebellion. I heard it. Where is it? Right there. Gotcha. Ollivanders. One's a variety of wood and all manners of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in their cozy clothes shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Ollivander. In the profession of one craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best one makers in Britain, if not the world. Alright, we've got four places to go. I'm obviously headed there first. Revelio. Sorry. Gotcha. Zonko's Joke Shop. Break frequency break. Frequently, regularly, frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is a place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. That's where um, Gorge and what's his face? Freddy's going to be. Number one, butterbeer barrels. These barrels contain a popular wizarding drink, butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content. That seems to impact house elves much more than humans. Rebellion. Oh, says, isn't there? In the shop, do I? Oh, I had to go in to get it. Dung bomb, favorite amongst pranksters, the dung bomb produces a foul odor, causing anyone in the vicinity to evacuate post haste. Right, enter the shop before I even want to. Rebellion. What is this? Just a prank, bro. Bewildering can of mystery. Just a flipping can of peanuts. Don't push. Oh, exploded to something. Bloody, where is it? You can hear it above me. Below me. Right there. Bill Page. Amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash. With this particular bar of soap, once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right out the suds. Oh, that's nasty! A bomb! Die! Die! Oh my god, kill it! Kill it now! Kill it with fire! And I guess this takes me back out front. Yeah, okay, cool. Right there. Water well. The savvy travelers know that some water wells may have more to offer than this relatively innocuous water well in the village of Hogsmeade. Getting experience just from doing this. Okay, now I really just want to buy some new clothes. Um, place? Revelio. Get that first. Glad Rags Wizard Wear. Founded in 1715 with the locations of Paris, London, and Hogsmeade. Glad Rags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most, like me. Awful green hat. Right 
at something. Right there. Gladrags mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrags serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Cool. Bunch of chests in here. Give me the goodies. Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. Okay, four places to go. Now we'll go to the potion shop. Take this over here. Come here! Have that. Free money. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Indigo sorcerer hat. Jp Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Oxmeade where proprietor Parry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing for this. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? All right. Grab our supplies. Wigan Well Potion Recipe. That one's free. And Edorus Potion. A recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Feel defense. free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, these are expensive. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Delicate wings is the focus potion. They're commonly found in open fields. I've only got 200 gold. I can't be wasting my money on this stuff. Alright, good to know. So maybe we've got ways of making money later on. Oh, and there's gear. Interesting. Oh, this is my sell items. Uh, do I want to sell? Nah, not yet. Very cool. Alright, let's check our inventory. What's the gear? Want to get rid of his headwear? I want to get the purple one. There we go. That's, uh, that's a bit cooler. Not even purple. It's just a uh, old indigo. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's my video. Heck, where? I think I got anything. Actually, it should tell me if I got anything new. And where? There we go. I had Quidditch gloves. Offense six. Go for that. Thing is, there was a way in Destiny, if I remember correctly, of making one item aesthetically. So you keep one item's looks, but you give it the stats of another item. I don't remember how you do that, though. And I don't even know if that's an option here. So, for now, I'm just going to have a mismatch of character. Um, not character. A mismatch of uh, equips. Okay, let's see where we need to go now. Alright, we'll go to the map. And our next place is... Hey, Pippin. Uh, Ollivanders. I knew it! What are you up to now? Yeah. 
Valios. Right there. This small community garden in the heart of the village is a perfect spot for growing various herbs and peaceful magical plants. Very nice. Am I up my level there? See it. Get me over there. It's just a wagon. Jump over it. Revelio. Give me your stuff. <laughs> I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm... Uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 my, oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um... Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, I get to choose my one. Classic gray. Wood type U, core type Phoenix Feather, very flexible, 13 and a half inches. I'm about 13 and a half inches myself. Good match. <laughs> Wait a sec, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh, I can customize it, okay. See what you're doing there. Uh, I claim a black Curious one. Curious indeed. Gray brown. Um, kind of leering towards black for now. Wood type U. How intriguing. Willow, walnut, vine, sycamore, spruce. Well, there's a lot here. Silver, lime, rowan, red wood, red oak, poplar, pine, pear, maple, laurel, Curious larch, indeed. hornbeam, holly, hazel, hawthorn, the English oak, elm, elder, ebony, dogwood, How cypress, intriguing. chestnuts, cherry, cedar, black walnut, black thorn, beech, aspen, ash, apple and older oh and acacia of course don't forget Curious that Curious indeed. Did that actually changed the one different lengths they're a tiny one nine and a half inches or we can have a How massive intriguing. fuck off one 14 and a half inches very flexible swishy whippy oh god unyielding the most rigid curious indeed quite bendy Okay, let's go for extremes. All of them. Phoenix Feather. Mirror Phoenix says the core of a one. Can't produce a great range of magic. Unicorn Hair. Says the core of one. Not producing consistent magic. 
and dragon as uh, producing powerful magic. Want power, consistent, or range? Uh, yeah, I'll stick with Phoenix. Phoenix sounds cool. Has the wand actually changed though? As well? How intriguing! Warm brown, classic ash brown, light brown, honey brown, dark brown, dark gray, gray. Assuming this has changed the. Uh, no, doesn't seem to change that bit. Curious indeed. I kind of like the classic design. How intriguing. Has it actually changed though? Like, I don't see what's changed. Right, we'll stick with the 13 and a half. Um, as for Curious the tree, indeed. let's go with um, red oak. Was it redwood? Let's go for red oak. And How intriguing! Then we'll just go with a um, solid. Did I change anything? Why does the one not change? So I don't understand. I've selected the one style. Nothing seems to have actually changed. All right, we'll, we'll keep it like that. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay, yeah, I mean, I've got my one, but... Does it actually change the type of magic I do? The big question. Right, tomes and scrolls. I want to check that place out next. Get over here! Enchanted staircase. The enchanted staircase and tomes and scrolls reveal itself when a particular book is moved. Right to here, Thomas Brown sells a variety of written products, including spell crafts, handy for conjuration. Excellent. Revelio. Not mean for that to happen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, you here. What was it? Yeah. Get the fuck over here! Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. 
a potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? All right, first, small potion station spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station, perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. And potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Uses pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Way too out of my league, out of my price range. All right, and last is the magic leaf. Get over here! here. Revelio. Well, hello there. What's up? <laughs> Sorry, the Magic Neep cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Very nice, but I want this money. I stole your money. What are you going to do about it, huh? Shut up. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look yeah. around. Oh, Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. These are oh, that's everything. But, uh, Better go and find I Sebastian. We'll leave that alone for now. Revelio. Right, I've got everything. Is that a bean chest or a nice chest? chest. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, there's something down there. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. It was worth it. I did it for the money. Revelio. Who hasn't heard that before? I'm in Weave Road. Oh, hell yes. What the hell is that? What the hell just got revealed? Oh, uh. <laughs> Hog's Head Dogs. These dogs outside the hog's head in offer a pleasant place to sit and relax. If one can do so whilst only a stone's throw from whatever nefarious goings on may be occurring in the notoriously shady inn. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff there. Let me open this door. Oh, hell yeah. Something's raiding everything. What are going to do about it? Rebellion. Huh? What stuff? There's something. I got it. Mounted Hog's Head. The Mounted Hog's Head rolls its eyes and stops its nods, oversees the seedy atmosphere, and decidedly interesting clientele of the Hog's Head. Very nice. I'm gonna eat some of your peanuts. Can't do anything about it. I'm just here munching on your peanuts. Don't say that too fast. What are you doing? I just want to eat some peanuts. Huh? See? Peanuts. Okay, I guess we just head to where we need to go. Oh my god. That's scary. All right, we do what we need to do. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Draw it away from the building! Away! 
Circle to dodge. What does this devil make right too? Trying to dodge like flipping Spider Man. <laughs> what is happening? I'm... Oh. My Spider Man instincts have kicked in. Spider-Man dodges. This is Spider-Man. Doesn't he swing the stuff around like this? I was comparing it to Batman before. Okay, Protego does not want to get the charges. Spider-Man dodges, I can't believe it. The hell is wrong with you? There's one that was an R1. Ow! You run up to me, that's not racism. Let me go! Let me go! Yellow, let me go. Stupid! Gotcha! Let me go! That's right, you know what you're allowing. Stupid! He's faltering! Two more hits, do the job. What? Oh, Fuck, I press circle. Come on. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Five points. Will be awarded to each of you. Wow. Well, I barely made it out of that, but I had to use like four potions or something like that to even get through the fight. Probably oh, even more. Hello there. A, a moment. Hello. I'll go and see what he wants. I'd rather have some stuff. Maybe I'll get some before it. Get over here! I think that's a book. Back 
here. Get over here. Repair room. More repairing. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Hengist of Woodcroft. This statue of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of Village of Hogsmeade, after being driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. Damn those Muggles. That's something. Gotcha. Honeydukes. Honeydukes sweet shop sells a variety of magical sweets, from fizzy whizbees to exploding bonbons. Customers will be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling this shop's wares. I banter Sebastian. It's fine. I have time. Please, give me the stuff. I must get everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Revelio. Something else for Where? Where is it? Oh, shut up. Mr. Ashton will be fine. <sighs> Alright, what else needs repairing on? Repair I don't even know if I was targeting that. Oh, Kitty, are you okay? Um, I would repair you. Sorry, I would I would pet you, but uh, I've got stuff to repair. Speak to the shopkeeper. Yeah, yeah, cool. Rebellion. Oh, I heard something. Where is it? Right there? Where is it? Sneakoscope. A sneakoscope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, you will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost immediately. Interesting. Rebellion. Oh, we're back in here. Can I maybe buy something? Mr. Yeah? Hill was just singing your praises. Oh, wasn't I supposed to talk to you? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Hell yes. Thank you, sir. No, sir, that's far too generous of you. Fine, we'll be magnanimous. Oh, is that the right word? Humble. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Alright, this is the gift. Traditional school robe. Well appointed. Oh, we can preview the gear. Well, let's compare it first of all. Preview it. Look any different? Don't see any difference. You've received a new piece of gear. Time's a week. Oh, it hasn't been equipped yet. Fair enough. Your current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. 18 defense, 6 offense. Select the cloaks and robes, slot gear slot, and press X. There we go. You can equip a robe. That's an offense of 10, a diamond weave. Oh, didn't let me equip the other one. Sorry, I didn't equip your gift. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it when I get out of here. Um, and these are way out of our... Well, not too far out of expense range, but... Um, hey, these ones are doable. Not bad. I'm guessing the... Oh, okay, legendary. Okay, so we've got that system going on here. Orange is legendary. Blue is superb. Purple, extraordinary. Wow. Okay, okay. 
can work with some of these. I've already got the Indigo Sorcerer hat. Um, anything else here I want to grab just yet? Maybe the scarf, but too expensive. So we'll build up a bit of money and maybe come back. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Mm, I sell even more battle-worthy items. A decent clock, but I'd rather from where else. Yeah, are oh, much better, but the stats are nowhere near as good. Ah, oh, that sucks. So if I want better stats, I have to wear that one. Yeah, that's the problem with these kinds of things. There's got to be a way to make the cool stats go on the gear that you want. And gold wooden spectacles. See, now if I didn't wear this, then I'd be losing out in uh, stats as well. So I have to, you know, mess around with equipment. So maybe later on when I figure out how to give the benefits to the proper clothes then I'll be able to like make my character look the way they're supposed to look but uh, for now I think we're going to end the episode right here so we managed to learn a new spell the Pero, and we uh, defeated the troll and uh, you know we got some pretty good drip as it is and uh, yeah I'm quite happy with this episode most of it was spent figuring out more about the castle and stuff and more about Hogsmeade but I like it it's a nice slow pace it'll probably pick up from here so, thanks for watching everyone, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want some more, and I will see you next time. Um, my face just glitched into my scarf there. Everyone ignore that, that's just magic. It's not a bad game, I promise you. See you later.